What's the point? Next fill in. Connection is a command. Connection is a command. It's a non-negotiable. Next fill in. I must be connected to men who share my convictions. Why is that? Because we simply don't discuss the things we need to discuss in the company of women. Can you imagine in a couple's life group or a couple's group here at Mariners? Here we are. Everybody's got their Starbucks. There's little, you know, little things to nosh on, some snacks. You know, we're sitting down in the comfy sofa. We're looking at the Bible. And then it goes to, you know, kind of the prayer request phase. There's Jack over there. Hey, Jack. Uh, Cheryl's done. What's your prayer request? Well, man, there's this there's this receptionist at work. <laughs> oh, mama! The women in that couples group would change your religion with the flick of their wrist. Not gonna happen. No empathy there. No. Oh, Jack, that's too bad. Not gonna happen there. These tables, you get really. Wow. And you start Googling your library. <laughs> know how you feel. It's a little different. So you need to be with men. Okay, because we can talk about the things men go through and not have to worry about, you know, getting skewered. Um, now here's the case for connection. Let, let's go through this. I'll read this first passage. It says, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. There's your values. For he who promised is faithful, and let us consider how we can spur one another on to love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting, but let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. You see, living life has the end in mind. It's the finish, okay? And we're all headed toward this finish, we're going to meet God face to face. We're going to meet our Savior face to face. And if you dial it back, if you want to be successful and not have regret in that moment, as you see the day approaching, you want to meet Jesus Christ face to face, you got to get together with some other guys. Why? Go back so you can spur one another on and go back, hold unswervingly to the hope you profess. So if you triangulate, if I want to hold the line, I circle that. And if I want to be encouraged and encourage other people, spur one another on, I circle that. And then if I want those two things to happen in my life, I circle, let us not give up meeting, and I draw a triangle. If I want to have spiritual integrity, be a man of character, be a man of truth, win the battles, hold unswervingly to this goal I have of being God's man, then I need to not give up meeting. And guess what? Those other guys in my group, they need me to spur them on to be God's man and win their battles. And therefore, I encourage them to get together. 